Lightening the lamp symbolizes removing the darkness and giving us the light of knowledge and positivity. privileged to welcome you all to celebrate International Day of Yoga on Father's Day in the holy month of Ramadan and the auspicious Sunday. What a constellation of stars and what a galaxy of participants. Moved by this alignment of energy for all the fathers in this room, I am reminded of William Wordsworth's beautiful metaphor, Father, O oh Father, to God himself, we cannot give a holier name. I also recall the Bible's message on this occasion, O oh Lord, thou our Father, we are the clay, and thou our potter, and we all are the work of thy hand. Ladies and gentlemen, you may wonder why I am quoting Wordsworth and Bible on the occasion of celebrating International Day of Yoga adopted by the United Nations for the developmental purposes and meeting the challenges of climate change and promote global health on the appeal of Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, to the world leaders. The answer is simple and very relevant to the occasion. Yoga embody, embodies unity of mind and body, thought and action, restraint and ful fulfillment, harmony between man and nature, a holistic approach to health and well-being, but more importantly, a vehicle for spiritual development. The mind running back to the message of Bible and Heavenly Father on International Day of Yoga was in this spiritual context. According to Indian scriptures, yoga is a spirituality rather than a religion. It has influenced the entire range of Indian thoughts and developments. On this third edition of the International Day of Yoga, Government of India decided to bring in focus the spiritual dimension of yoga propounded by the Upanishads, the books of wisdom. Referring to yoga, yoga the Upanishads say, the knowledge of deep self is yoga. Today, we will show you a short film on different dimensions of yoga before practicing yoga asanas, pranayam, and meditation with you all. Another spiritual dimension added to this year's celebration is the recital of the Shanti mantras, the Vedic hymns for peace in the Indian tradition of invoking God for universal peace. The mantras are composed in Sanskrit language, some of which mean, may there be peace in the illuminated world, in space, on the earth, in waters, and in herbs and plants. Gods of the worlds may be in peace, may peace pervade the supreme being, may peace be everywhere, 
may there be only peace and nothing else and may that all pervading peace come unto me further praying for the health for all the universal brotherhood the mantras resound may we walk together speak together and may our minds contain similar purport may our hearts and minds be similar may we have some prayers and offer the same oblations may our decisions our emotions be harmonious may our minds experience harmony and joy yoga als universeel middel als universiteel methodiek wil promoten voor de hele mensheid om bij te dragen aan de gezondheid van de mens. De ambassadeur heeft het gezegd, yoga is de harmonisatie van het lichaam en de geest. En als we kijken naar het compendium van Patanjali, Patanjali is eigenlijk de icoon op het gebied van uh, yoga, dan zie je dat in de tweede sloop al hij zegt, yoga is de chitta vritti nirodha. Yoga is de methodiek die in je chit, de chit is je mind, de vrittias, dat zijn de modificaties in je mind. Dat yoga de methode is om kwijt te raken die modificaties, zodat je een mind hebt die geconcentreerd is op een punt en dat die mind-body combinatie één geheel wordt. Die harmonisatie als mens, als individu. Ook vanuit de gezondheidszorg kennen we dat, hè? Mens sana in corpore sano. In een gezond lichaam, huisvest, een gezonde geest. Vanuit die optiek is het belangrijk dat wij yoga als universeel middel, als methode om de gezondheid te bevorderen, moeten aanmoedigen bij elke burger, niet alleen in dit land, maar wereldwijd. U weet, in deze tijd waar wij allerlei ziektes om de hoek kijken, is het meer nodig en noodzakelijk dat wij methoden onszelf aanleren om gezond te blijven. Met deze bijzondere dag, de Vaderdag in de maand Ramadan, en ook nog de internationale, derde internationale dag waar u deelgenoot van bent, hoop ik dat u deze kleine verantwoordelijkheid die op uw schouders heeft om je ook uit te dragen, dat heel serieus gaat nemen.
Um, during the Yoke Fest, we had a chance to try our hands at a sloka recitation contest and an online quiz competition on yoga and naturopathy. We will now announce the winners of these contests. I think a few of the winners are here and a few of them are not here. So if you hear your name, please come to the stage. We'll start with the winners of the Sloka recitation competition. The consolation prizes went to Miss Sharon Young and uh, Mr. Ranjan Ramdin. I know that Mr. Ranjan Ramdin is not here, but Sharon Young is here. Can I have applause for Sharon Young? A special mention and a wonderful thanks to Sharon because Sharon also managed to win first prize in the online quiz competition. So congratulations to Sharon. The third prize is uh, Mrs. Anurada Ramota, which is not here today. Um, second prize is the here uh, is Mr. Suresh Gopal. Mr. Suresh Gopal. <laughs> and now we have the first prize. This is Ms. Shreya Kalka, our first prize winner. An extra applause for this wonderful young lady. Aap sabhi ko sadar namaste. Main ye sab kar paaye kyunki meri aaji Shrimati Sushila Baldev Malhu meri guru thi aur main ICC ko dhanyawad dena chahti hu is competition ko aayojit karne ke liye. Dhanyawad. Keep your hands in Gyan Mudra. This is called Gyan Mudra when you touch your index finger with the uh, thumb and leave three fingers straight. Keep your hands on your knees. Relax. Keep your back straight and close your eyes. Just breathe in and breathe out and try to observe yourself being here in this hall. Just be with yourself. Observe your body from head to toe. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. We are going to start a simple prayer. We do Om chanting three times together, followed by a prayer. For the prayer, please follow me. Om chatting three times. Sangachatvam Samvadatvam Samvo Manansi Janatam Deva Bhagam Yatha Purve
दुखा भाग भवे